What's going on guys, Oahu RC, bringing you another unboxing. Today we have a treat. It is the Team Corali, the Asuga, As Asuga, 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 XLR 6S buggy. Now this thing is supposed to be pretty dang sweet. I got the ready to run version. Um, just wanted to kind of test out their electronics and see how they work. Um, so we're going to get this big boy open and uh, check her out for you guys. I think this is the first one in Hawaii. I don't know, though. I haven't seen another one. So with the electronics, uh, I've never used this remote before, this transmitter, so we'll check it out. We have the Curon 825 motor. Uh, it's a 2050 kV, which is pretty similar to all the other success motors that I run. Um, we have the Torox. Uh, I've never heard of that brand ever. I've never used one of those before. And I've never used a CRHV servo. So we're gonna check all this out, guys, and see how it goes. Um, not too sure about these electronics, uh, but we will see how it holds up. I'm thinking I will eventually have to put some Spectrum electronics in here, which is what I've been coming to like a lot. So I went with the blue one here. So we're gonna go ahead and pop it open. There she is. Gotta get this plastic off. It's kind of funky how they package this. It looks like you gotta take the clips off through the plastic to get the body off and then you can get that out. So I'll do that here in a second, but wow, guys. This thing looks pretty sweet. This is like actually my first uh, true buggy. I like this little front, little spoiler here. Oh look, they got little, it's got little wings on the, that's so cool. There she is without the plastic on the cover. Woo wee. I'm glad I went with the blue. The blue looks really cool. Um, you also got your transmitter in here and your instruction manual. But it doesn't look like they give you any kind of, you know, little tool set at all, which is odd. So it's like a, like a binding sort of thing. So I'm going to look through this, everything, guys, and check it all out. Let's pop this open. So I had to get some adapters for these XT90 um, plugs because I don't know how to solder. And I don't like to mess around with electronics like that. So... I just got some adapters to throw on my lipos to put on here, but wow, this is super clean, guys. You know, I, I was watching another video and some, um, someone mentioned that the Crowleys all have like a weird angled drive line, and that is weird. It's super angled, but I guess it works for them. Sounds nice and meshed correctly. Oh, a little bit of play in there. I'm interested to see how this um, motor holds up. Um, see how she does. It's kind of interesting design. It seems like they have a little, I always put 3M tape or something underneath my motors. So when they have big landings and they flex down, they don't rip out the screws. It seems like they put it right on this little um, support beam here. It's touching right underneath the bottom of the motor. So that is not going anywhere. So you got your uh, battery tray here. Looks like it's adjustable. You can slide this back. You have to take out two screws, slide it back. Most batteries will fit in there. Um, you got your ESC, got your power and set. Got your servo over here. Cool. Very sweet guys. We're gonna get this thing out and about for you in this video. Check it out, see how it works. Jeez, that suspension feels really good. Just right out of the box. No different weight oil or anything. That feels really smooth, guys. So I think uh, I think this is gonna be a beast. Let's get her outside and get it ripping. How does this go on? There we go. Kind of a funky little, uh, there we go. B-E-A-U-tiful. 
So just a couple of things that are pretty cool. Uh, this little front fin here, these little spoilers on the A arms are really cool. It's got upgraded hinge pin mounts already. These are nice aluminum because uh, that really tends to break on the bashers. You got them on the rear as well. It's really, really nice. And the shocks look really good to me. I usually adjust my front ones down about halfway and my rear ones down pretty much all the way because as you guys know, I like to do big jumps. But even with it not adjusted at all, like that is really nice. That is super buttery. I have to use quite a bit of force, push it down. So high expectations for this puppy looks to be pretty dang beefy. Nice aluminum chassis. Man, I love that new car smell. Woo. Tires seem nice. Don't think they're belted, but we are going to get it outside, guys. Get it, look through this really quick, set her up. We will see you soon. So we have the Asuga XLR out at our park. Just did some other shooting. Now we're gonna get this thing going for you guys and uh, see how it rips. Check it out. Here we go. Sorry, it's super windy today. We are running six that. And this is our first time out bashing around. This one might be faster than the other one, dude. Holy smokes, guys. This thing is fast. Woo -wee. Woo -wee. Handles so good. You can pretty much turn at full throttle with this thing. Jeez. This thing is so freaking fast, guys. I think it might be as fast or faster than the Talion. This thing rips. Wow. If we go test it out on some dirt. Guys, let's try to hit our first jump of this thing. So windy out here today, guys. Ooh. Not a good landing, guys. Thing took it like a champ.
guys, there you have it. The brand new Team Corali Asuga XLR. Took some pretty big hits today and uh, just going over the car. Doesn't look like anything's wrong with it. Battery stayed in there. You see it's all good. I did stop it periodically just to um, let it cool down just a little bit. But man, we took a few crashes and she took it like a champ. We had some good backflips, sent it pretty far. Just got some content with Italian. He's looking a little bummy. He's got a broken uh, shock standoff, but the Team Corelli Asuga guys, there you have it, unboxed, tested out, Oahu RC, approved. This body is kind of irritating. There we go. There you have it guys, until the next one, shoots.